All right, so this is my combo. So you start with a double on trapeze. And while you do that, you wanna grip your string with your palm like this. You unroll out of one, <clears throat> and you wanna go into a brother mount like this. So now your thumb is underneath the string section that's closer to you and you're going to reject this by pushing your thumb so that the slack is being rejected out with some kind of force. When that rejects out, you want to use your middle finger and your pointer finger to pinch the string section so you have the slack in, um, in the front here. And you're going to use the momentum of the slack going around to send this over the yo-yo. Like that. So now you are in a brother mount with an extra wrap around your wrist. One little thing about this rejection is that when you send the slack over you want to kind of send it diagonally um, slightly to the right so it's in this diagonal direction but when you do that you have to be careful not to have this string go around the yo-yo but rather you want this string section in this gap the entire time so you accidentally don't end up with an extra wrap around the bearing so when you accidentally um, get that extra string segment like this uh, the string wrap around the the bearing then it's not really gonna work because it's gonna be snaggy and then you're gonna have to unravel that so be careful not to do that. So try paying attention to the string segment and make sure this stays on the left here. And just add a tiny bit of um, wrist movement to add some momentum to get that slack out over the area. So let me show you that. Like that. So from this mount, you're going to double on the brother mount and then now you're going to pinch and you're going to pinch and then you're going to swing the entire thing over counterclockwise. Now you have the slack segment here and you're going to swing this thing over again and as you swing it over, you're going to hold your non-throw hand and next finger like this. So while you do that, you slap the slack. So slack comes back over into this little mount. It's essentially a, a keychain mount but in a chopstick. So it looks like this. You can see that it has like a three pronged look and it just unravels. So. When you do that slap back, it's uh, easy to think that you're manually slapping it back by hitting the string like that. But I'd say the more important thing is making sure you use your throw hand motion to slap the string into your non-throw hand. So instead of the non-throw hand actively uh, slapping it, you're, sla you're using the string. So I'll, I'll show you that again. Also keep making sure tension is neutral. And after you do this, as you swing over, you see that your throw hand is going in a clockwise motion. And as your throw hand is going towards the left, you're going to hold um, your non-throw hand, 
So you see, you don't have to actually um, add a lot of uh, active slapping momentum against the string, but rather the string bumping into the finger itself is enough to let the slack slap back. See? And the, how this works is basically, let me show you that slowly. And as you uh, swing this, this uh, slack kind of wraps around your finger like this. And then as it unravels, this section gets a bit of tension and that releasing kind of adds momentum in the opposite direction that automatically kind of slaps the slack back the other way. So I say the most important thing is positioning your non throw hand in the right direction in the way of the slack. Try to make sure the index is lined up with the slack um, segment that's further away from you while the section closer to you is likely going to be aligned with where your um, palm is. So once you get the slack back, You'll notice, actually, this is an important thing. It will depend on your setup. But see, as this slaps around, you see there's the extra slack, right? Now you're gonna let go of this pinch to get into this mount. But since there are a lot of uh, strings bunched up near the bearing, sometimes it kind of gets caught and doesn't slide down that easily which might result in you missing the, the slack. And what I recommend you to do is as the slack comes around, you're gonna let go. So it, before the string gets bunched up so much into the gap, you can organically let the string slide into the mount. And as the slack is going around, so you, you don't wanna let go after the slack hits. As it comes around, and right about, right before it's about to hit the gap is when you want to let go. So the string slides into the mount. Oops. So that can happen. It can get caught and then the slack will remain. And when you let go, it can kind of shoot out in an unpredictable direction, which may lead you to missing the slack. But once you get into this mount, you're gonna keep your finger, uh, your, you're gonna insert your non throw hand index in between the chopstick, right here. You're gonna roll over, make sure the yo-yo hits both of these strings coming out of your throw hand index like this. So you get into this mount. <clears throat> now you have this segment here that's connected to your throw hand thumb. And then you have this segment on your throw hand index. You want to curl your your hand index to kind of softly pinch this string segment. And then you're gonna kind of pull this away so you have tension on this segment from your thumb. And what you're gonna do is make sure you curl this thumb in so it doesn't get in the way. And you can see that this unravels. So adding that tension is gonna add more momentum to the slack that will now be rotating around counterclockwise, and you're gonna use that to swing it over. And I'll show you what it looks like.
and add tension and then you're gonna that motion is also gonna roll the yo-yo out counterclockwise and you're gonna use this slack momentum going counterclockwise to swing it over and hit the segment closer to you on your index hit the gap of the yo-yo now you're basically in this trapeze with a twist and you're gonna um oops let me i can't miss the step Alright, now you're in this mount, you're gonna roll this over, right? but you're gonna make sure that the yo-yo goes through this crossing section and you see where the gap is. And then now you're in this mount where there's a twist in there, in the gap, now you're gonna insert your throw hand index and you're gonna roll over. Now you see you're in this brother GT. And keep um you gotta make sure that there's no wrap around the wrist on your throw hand side. Because if you don't be careful, if you accidentally insert your whole arm like this then you see you'll have a wrap here and that's not gonna be good for the next element because you don't want that wrap and I'll show you why so when you when you're rolling over the yo-yo make sure that the wrist doesn't go through but only the yo-yo like that then you roll over the brother GT and then the next element is basically um, basically a jade whip so as this goes over you're gonna make you're gonna have this string segment go over and while you do that you're gonna pinch this two layers of string here basically where the kink is and that's gonna have the slack whip over and what's gonna happen next is you're gonna, as the slack comes over, you're gonna slap it back into the gap of the yo-yo. I'll show you what it looks like. As you're in this formation, you're gonna keep the pinch. Even after you slap it back, you're gonna keep the pinch. And you see now, you're gonna make sure the segment away from you hits the gap of the yo-yo. And as that comes over, you're gonna intercept the string segment from the bottom up using the non throw hand index. Now you're in this mount where it looks like a double on brother mount, but you see there's a kink here, obviously. And when you roll out, you can see now it's a uh, brother GT again, right back to where we started. And you're gonna use that momentum and perform a suicide which looks like this the funny thing is when you perform a suicide on, uh, from this brother GT you go right back to where you started see So that's a repeatable suicide. I just add it for fun. And it flows well with the trick. Oops. Like that. And from this brother GT, you just pop out the back into regular GT, pop out, and that's the end of the combo. What I want to tell you about though, before I finish this tutorial is after you get that slapping back uh, element, which I'll show you again, 
right here. Right after you intercept this is when you let go of this um, pinch that you had on the kink. And what that does is when you roll this out, the kink will slide across the string. And this is going to keep the string pro proportions of the Brother GT in an ideal um, ratio that the, the next suicide motion is going to be uh, smooth and easy. So what I used to do actually is I didn't let it slide. I, I kind of let go of the pinch early, which ended up in this kind of cool one-handed mount. But that resulted in a, you see that tiny little kink in the bot bottom, which ended up making this slender GT, which is obviously going to be annoying to catch again when you perform the suicide. And that's why you want to keep the pinch until after you hit this so that when you roll out the triangle is nice and big in which you can whoops, perform the GT suicide obviously when you miss you end up with a uh, an axle knot like this so try to catch that to the best of your ability and that's basically the trick Whoops. And that's pretty much it.